Assalamu alaikum everybody, welcome back. So we wanted to jump on here and talk about vacations. For Muslims that's so... Not fun. Not fun about vacations. I think you could probably take the role on that one yeah. in terms of what you don't like. Number one, I'm, I always stick out like a sore thumb as a Muslim woman because I'm fully covered. I wear a hijab, I wear a full um, swimsuit, fully covered swimsuit. So as soon as I go to the beach, I'm singled out. That's not the only thing, but I feel uncomfortable being around non-modest clothing um, as well as my kids like mm. I, I like my kids to not feel like they're the outsiders because they also wear fully covered clothing um, I'm not a big fan of everything showing. hanging out but in terms of like our children and what we want our children to grow up and kind of be yeah. accustomed to is definitely that's a not big thing that. that's a big thing and then the second thing is I do not like to be at resorts where there's alcohol because people are loud mm. intoxicated Fighting cannot be around people who are intoxicated. Um, yeah. I just can't. It, and for me, yeah. it, it totally ruins the whole mood. Um, even if there's no issue with them, mm -hmm. um, for us as Muslims, obviously we don't drink alcohol. It is not permissible for us mm -hmm. to become intoxicated. Therefore, for us to be in an environment where people are intoxicated, uh, it's definitely something that is very difficult. Um, especially when we're not there for that reason. We're not there to party. We're not there yeah. to do that. Um, we're, wherever we go, we're going as a family to, to kind of enjoy ourselves in peace and quiet, yeah. which doesn't always happen. Another thing is when we went to Spain recently, we stopped at a resort. It was actually titled a five-star resort in Ooh, Malaga. Hard five. to believe. Um, we ate French fries every day. That's literally all they had to eat. <laughs> that was a five-star. That was a five-star. Can you believe that? But yeah, anyways, so food, food is a big thing. Like you, you want to go on vacation, you want to just be able to eat freely and not have to worry yeah. about food. So, so that, preface, preface that statement for the people that don't understand is that we as Muslims, we only yeah. eat halal food, which is, um, again, you can look it up, you can look at other videos, but essentially food that is permissible for us to eat, um, which is any type of meat that isn't slaughtered in accordance with Islamic law, we are not permitted to eat that. Kosher is a different story. That's again, yeah, that's a whole other, other Everything that she's just mentioned, Husna has alleviated and eliminated all of that for Muslim families. So Husna Vacations is an incredible company, um, obviously Muslim owned. Um, and once a year they do a holiday that's called Beach and Beyond, as you can see from our shirts. And they pick a resort in, they've done it in the Bahamas, they've done it in Mexico. This year they're doing it in the Dominican Republic. So the resort can be in different places. So it's not exclusive to one mm -hmm. resort. It can be in any different resort. So once a year, they book out the whole entire resort, the whole resort for five or six days for Muslims only. The team comes in, they clean out the kitchens, they bring in thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds of halal meat from various locations. They try yeah. to stimulate the economy of wherever they're going by, by getting local producers uh, to be able to, to purchase their stuff. Um, yeah. They bring in the halal food. So now they get you rid have, of the alcohol completely. There's no alcohol, there's no alcohol on premises. There is, a, there, yeah, there is a dress code. So men and women have to dress in a modest fashion. Mm -hmm. um, so you really get a sense of that. It's, it's, very, it's almost the complete opposite to what a traditional you know, resort type vacation would be. Yeah. It's so hard to explain. When we say Husna yeah. experience, it took us a couple of days, but once we realized what that Husna experience is, it's something that you will absolutely long for. If you're a Muslim and you experience this, all of the people that we've talked to, Every single everybody one. is like counting the days down until the next. Till the, and it only happens once a year, so it's a big deal. There is like a limited amount of people that are allowed to come onto this Obviously, resort because yeah, of capacity, yeah. right? Um, and actually, even for the one that we're on right now, there's a wait list for. Um, there is also going to be, and is already started, a wait list for the next one, which is December of this year, 2024. Feels like you're going on vacation with like a giant family. Mm -hmm. And knowing us, like we are generally pretty, like we're really tightly knit. But being here, it's a whole other vibe. Mm -hmm. Like our kids are playing with other kids, like we're mingling with the other adults, like we're talking. And we pray together. Mm -hmm. Like that's such a big deal is Husna prioritizes our faith so we pray, we pray our Fajr Salah, the, the pre-dawn or the, the pre-sunrise prayer. We pray that together in congregation. And the sunset prayer, Maghrib, we pray that in congregation. We do together as a congregation facing the beach. 
and oh, then after so cool. after each of those prayers, the Imam uh, will then give some some encouragement, some inspiration, some wisdom yeah. to the people, which has been absolutely amazing to be able Jum'a. to mix it all together. And then Jummah prayer, the Jummah Salah. Everybody so, was there. It was so beautiful. Like honestly, yeah. like when when do you get to go on vacation and have that sense of community? Like even our kids, like this is such a big deal for our kids to be able to, to be able to come here and see. A Muslim community come together. Everyone's taking care of each other. Everyone you don't have is to worry. Out for one There's another. no strangers. We're all strangers, but nobody's a stranger. Like literally, that's Isn't what it, it feels that's like. Feels like. Everyone's just everyone's the same. the same. Yeah, everybody the gets same. it, right? And that's not to to say that people who aren't Muslim we can't get along with. That's not what we're saying. Is that it's about relatability? Exactly. So for us, yeah. we have a certain protocol. We have a certain lifestyle that we live, and the fact that all of the people in this resort have the same lifestyle that we totally. have, the same beliefs that we have. Salam, Habibi. How are you? Tomorrow, Tomorrow, inshallah. Well, sense of community is people just saying hello to each other, hugging each other, saying goodbye to each other. Like, the whole experience is incredible. Guys, so we actually had a fundraiser for Palestine while we were here, which is absolutely incredible. I went on stage with the girls. Sana was putting Yusuf to sleep, so she missed out. And we were here with the HCI team, Human Concern International. And this guy, Hassan Wadi, <laughs> that guy, right over there, mashallah, came, brought the whole team to fundraise. And subhanAllah, you know, a man who has fundraised Around the, world, Around the world, essentially, he's done so much humanitarian work. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking at the wrong camera here. Yeah. Um, you know, said that this was the best fundraiser that he'd ever done. Yeah, absolutely. And it such a, a, an intimate group of people. We'll, we'll took, overlay took, some footage here, but y'all, it took like 13 minutes for them to fundraise over 200k for Gaza. And you know, alhamdulillah, we got to hear from people like uh, Buna, Buna Muhammad, yeah. um, the poet, the artist, amazing. You know, he was here. We did. We actually did a podcast episode yeah. of his Muslimy podcast. Do check it out, please. Definitely. Um, it was incredible. Baba Ali was here from back in the day. Yeah. I don't say back in the day because it makes makes here. me feel old. I don't know. Modern Wallar is here. You guys, like the whole posse, the whole crew that is here, they have incredible hearts. Everybody that's here was meant to be here. Mm -hmm. Like truly, there's so much barakah. If you just walk around, just at just any the time resort, of the day or any night. time of the day, like you can or night. You can you can feel the atmosphere yeah, like 100%. it's something else like you can't you can't explain it until you come on a Husna vacation yeah. there's there's no other vacation like a Husna vacation yeah. there's so much to see and do so each yeah. day there's a huge list of things that are taking place you don't have to partake in it if you don't want to um, yeah, they have, have programming you have exactly you have the beautiful ocean just over there we've got you know pools everywhere a huge water park guys this the kids. the kids had an absolutely amazing time they got slimed. Yeah, yesterday. they got slime. That so was so they had a fun. blast with that. The resort itself has programming for kids mm -hmm. if you want to do that. Then Husna has programming. And you um, also have excursions got, from an external company. Yeah, so exactly. so many There's things so that many you can see to and do. do. The vibe you get here. here is it's so hard to explain yeah, you what it feels you can, like. You can't explain it until you're in it. And and the cool thing is is like after dinner and everybody has has eaten, they have a main stage kind of in the center of the resort, um, and they have chairs and everybody is out mingling with each other. There's a bouncy castle. Kids are getting face painting. There's you know what literally balloon of? people like a balloon artist balloon that's people. making whatever they turn themselves into balloons. balloon animals. You know what it reminded me of oh, that whole just, vibe downtown. I love it. It reminded me of downtown Disney. Yeah, I can't, but remember, I, you guys, we're boycotting Disney. That's right, boycott Disney. You lose. So if you guys want to learn more about the Husna vacations the that Husna they offer. The Husna experience. The Husna experience. I will leave a link down below. I'll also pin a comment with the link. And I'm telling you guys, if, even if you're just thinking about it, yeah. just sign up for their wait list because they... They like, sell out very fast. They sell out really quickly. They sell out like 65% of their rooms and the within reason, a week. The reason for that is because everybody who comes to these events, the, the, these goes vacations, again. they go again. They're like, I want... And get then they me tell the all list. their friends and they're yeah. like, you need to book with us next 100%. year. We've had so, some families here, they're like, well, I'm booking for dinner because you have to book the dinner because yeah. there's so many people. So they're like, how many people? Uh, 29 of us. <laughs> <laughs> there's so many. <laughs> what? People come with their grandparents, their parents, their sisters, their friends. There's literally some people here that are just like a group of friends yeah. that came together. So definitely. And it's literally for everyone. You have yeah. you have the elders, you know, that, that, that sit in the, the downtown That's area. That's one thing we should mention is it's for all ages. Everybody. We've seen seniors here and they have seniors programming where they can do bingo and like just so many amazing things. Halal bingo. Halal bingo. <laughs> and a big shout out to the management owners, operators. I don't know if I want to name them by name, but. Um, the owners of Husna have hearts of gold. They are like family. And if ever 100%. there's a problem with anything to do here, 
and and they know about it, they will not rest until that is fixed and and so that you can truly Sorry. enjoy Sorry. the Husna experience. May Allah bless them honestly, Amin. and we're so grateful that they gave us this experience. Like, they truly, truly, truly are so good at what they do, and they go above and beyond. Like, they want to make definitely. sure they want to make sure that this vacation is going to stay with you forever. And that's where the beyond so. part comes in. Each and beyond. Guys, do do jump on the wait list. You will not regret it. Even if you don't end up going, you still want to reserve a spot. Um, they do a once a year. They do an Ontario getaway at Deerhurst. Mm -hmm. So if you are in Ontario like us in the GTA and you want to do kind of like a local getaway, they also have that as well. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. And do leave us a comment down below and let us know where your favorite vacation has been. Absolutely, guys. Love Until next time. Assalamualaikum.